Alrighty then, so next level up, Natus 1, I'm Chris Dale, I'm going to go through all of these levels from 0 to level 32, 33. I'm going to explain what these vulnerabilities are all about. So this is, this is the hacking series we're solving over the wires war game called Natus. It's all about web hacking to be honest. In this play, in this example, it says you can find the password next level on this page, but right clicking has been blocked. Wow, right clicking has been blocked. Uh, okay. So we right click inside of the div and it says that it has been blocked. However, I can right click anywhere else, uh, at least down here, and I can go inspect elements. And, and of course, then we can see that, hey, there's a password again, stupid mistake. But then again, really, do you need to right click to view someone's source? No, you press control U, there it is. In the previous video, I showed you that you can use your proxy to basically give you everything that is between you and a web server. There is no secrets going on here. JavaScript, Ajax, whatever you have going on in this web page will now be going through my little web proxy here, Burps is Professional, and there will be no secrets. Even if I have not intercepted this response, I could go to the sitemap and I could see in the sitemap up here in the response that, hey, I did in fact capture this password. Additionally, in my proxy, I could go, I could go to the HTTP history all the way down to um, not as one here. We can go to response and again, there we have the password. So not a lot to say about these, uh, these beginning challenges. They are ridiculously stupid, but we are seeing these type of vulnerabilities a lot and more and more in mobile applications. So be on the lookout for that. It's not as stupid as it sounds like when you are looking into mobile application, potentially other client-side code as well. And that is code that we're sending to someone's client to have it run on their computer system. Whenever you're doing such a thing, know that they own their client they might not even use a web browser. They not, might not be using the protocols. They might not be behaving like you expect them to behave. So do not expect any secrets to be uh, not to be found. Expect all data that you are receiving from clients to be untrusted until you can prove that it has actually good data and it's sanitized and you can trust it. All right, so that's video number two. So let's continue to video number three in my next movie. Thank you very much for watching. Cool. See you later.